Hawa, Brakta Yahawa Shai, Brakta Yahawa, Brakta Yahawa Shai, the water, Yahawa Bashim Yahawa Shai, Shalawam Ma Barakim, Labakarim Yasha Allah, Washington Kabad, Gawala Wakab, Sukunim Nawa, Waha Shal Yakim Nawa, Yasha Allah, Ba'ith. All right, giving all praise to the Heavenly Father. His name is Yahawa, that's the Heavenly Father's name. His son's name, our, our Savior's name, is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And he's only coming back to save us. All right, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and the rest of the Israelites that don't look like Negroes or Latinos. But you know that your spirit rests with the spirit of, uh, of these scriptures, man, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Um, so it's the Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for the elect waking up and, and, and being edified through the spirit. And double honors to our elders and apostles. All right, in these times known as Great Millstone that have taught me this truth, taught us this truth, putting forth a great example in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, suicide is not the way. Um, I know we all have these thoughts. If you say you don't have these thoughts, you're probably lying to yourself. All right, if this thought has not come to you while you're in this truth, all right, and the spirit is on me, all right, because I was thinking about this topic for a while, so I just want to bring out some precepts on this about basically how it's not the way. All right, through the spirit. All right, and you need to pray. You need to fast and pray that demon off you. This is a Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 12. It says, Seek, Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 12, Seek not death in the air of your life, and pull not upon yourselves destruction with the works of your hands. Okay, so just because things are getting crazy, all right, you catch a hell with your family. Or your woman or your kids or you, or you lose your job or something happens with your car your chariot or, you, or your dog dies or something like that all right are you catching you you get locked up for the truth or something like that are you getting persecuted because of the truth all right the answer is not well you know what let me take myself out so i can try and get into the kingdom quicker because that's what these demons are going to tell you these demons are going these these demons know that we know about reincarnation they know we know the hundred percent truth they're going to plague on your mind at your weakest moment to try and make you think that because you've erred all right and because you're over here in in the u.s they're going to put that anxiety demon on you and try to make you put the <clears throat> destruction upon yourself with the works of your hands the scripture says you're supposed to do opposite seek not death in the air of your life and pull not upon yourselves destruction with the works of your hands for the most high made not death Neither hath he pleasure in the destruction of the living. All right. And we know that according to uh, 1 John 5 and 11, Yahweh Bashmi Shah has, has, has granted us life. All right. 1 John chapter 5, verse 11. And this is the record. I'm sorry, verse 5 and 10. He that believeth on the Son of the Most High hath this witness in himself. He that believeth not in the Most High have not himself have not made believeth not have made him a liar because he believeth not the record that the Most High gave us. Now this is the record, and this is the record that Yahweh has given to us eternal life, and this life is in the Son. He that hath the Son or Yahweh Shai. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of the Most High have not life. And we see what Yahweh was able to do for Yahweh Shai. You know, he was able to resurrect him and, and, and give him eternal life so that he could give that to us. Now, that's the record, man. All right. That's, that was a promise. We have to believe on that promise. The, and the stronger you have faith and believe in that promise, the easier you're going to be able to see that, look, suicide is not the way. Meaning you're killing yourself. All right. That's not the answer. Philippians. Now, even Paul, even Paul dealt with suicidal thoughts. You know, we've all. Like I said, man, in the, when you first come to the truth, and, 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 and you know, these thoughts, I'm not even going to lie, these thoughts will come to your mind. And, and if you say that you, you, you know, you know, you don't have, uh, any, you haven't had anxiety or thought of it at least once, you might be lying to yourself. If you haven't, all praise to you, how about Shema Washai, you know, your faith is very strong, you know, through the spirit. All right. But if you have, you know, guess what? It's not, that's not the way. Philippians 1 and 21. Now, Paul even dealt with this. Okay. And we start at 20. Philippians 1 and 20. According to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but that with all boldness as always, so now also Hamashiach shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life 
or by death. Now that's not an excuse. All right. Looking at the next verse, verse 21. For to me to live in Yahweh and to die is gain. But it says both are gain, right? Verse 22, though, it says, but if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor. Yet what I shall choose, I want not. So even though we are uh, we are here in the flesh, yeah, it's hard, man. You're going to do things that you don't want to do. You're going to think things you don't want to think. Other people are going to think things and do things towards you that you don't want to happen. It's going to cause hell and plague your mind. All right? So it says, yet what I choose, I want not. Verse 23, for I am in straight between two, meaning... Paul was basically caught between a rock and a hard place. He didn't know what to think. It says, for I am in a strait between two, having a desire to depart and to be with Hamashiach, which is far better. So he actually thought, man, I want to die. You know, take my life away from me so I can be with Yahweh Shai because I know that's better. I'll be in 100% righteousness. We all think these things. All right, but look what Paul, all right, he tells us next. It says, nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you right so to stay here and to do this work and to show men that we are able to endure and we're not going to pull the destruction of our hands is more needful all right because i know i know good and well there's somebody out there dealing with this thought man all right and paul guess what as great as paul was he had the same thought man even david in his battles and stuff like that all right he, he thought, you know, he was brought to the brink of death. He wanted his life to escape him. But instead, what did he do? He prayed to Yahweh Bashmi Al-Shad to deliver him. And he had faith. Just like Paul is telling us, man, nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful. All right? Sirach. The book of Ecclesiasticus. Verse, uh, I'm sorry, Ecclesiasticus 25 and verse 7. It says... There be nine things which I have judged in my heart. And I'm just saying different aspects here, all right, through the Spirit. Um, it's just precepts that come to my mind when these thoughts pop up, all right? It says, there be Sirach or Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, all right, 25, verse 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. This is the Lord talking. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy over his children... And he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. So if you want to make most high and you are sincere in Yahweh Bashmi Shai, you're going to want to see this thing to the end. Don't you want to see Esau crumble? That's going to make most high. You enduring, that's going to make the most high happy. You enduring to see the downfall of these Edomites and these other nations. That makes the most high happy. Don't you want to make the most high Yahweh Bashmi Shai happy? So endure. Keep fighting, man. All right? Suicide is not the way. It says, and he that lived to see the downfall of his enemy. So we want to see the downfall, man. But in order to see the downfall, what? You have to have the spirit on you to want to have life, man. To want to push forth this work. To keep that the, uh, uh, the physical uh, uh, oxygen and breath in you. And to keep the spiritual breath of life in you. And to spread that breath of life, man. All right? Because we're getting the, the, the longer we're down here and we endure and push this work, the greater our reward is going to be. All right. That's why it says, uh, 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 don't forget uh, your work and your labor of love. Basically, it's not in vain. Look, I don't believe what I'm doing in vain. This video right here, I know you how my rec my record is on high, man. I pray you how about Shemal Shah that I can receive life for uh, 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 trying to build up the elect's minds for these times you're coming into, man. Because look, even not even just now, I'm talking about in the tribulation when all hell breaks loose and stuff like that. That these scriptures still apply. You can't put yourself to death just because you see martial law happening. What the hell type? Excuse my language. What the hell type of shit is that? All right. If you if you are going to die in this truth, it has to be because uh, 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 the uh, the the Most High has sanctioned it, man. Not because you uh, you want to kill yourself. What type of shit is that? Look, if I'm going to be put to death, it's because the Edomite has got a bullet at my head. Or I'm, my head is in a guillotine because I'm not taking a chip. Or, 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 or you know, or whatever. You know, it's going to be manfully. And that's one thing. The Wadi Ha'abashimah uh, Shah for the Zaquan Yasha Wamba. I remember when I was in Dallas and um, we were praying. And part of the prayer was, 
if I have to die, let me die manfully and with my honor and my integrity. You killing yourself, there's no honor in that, all right? There's no honor in that. Even, uh, oh, man, the man in battle, um, there was a man in battle in the history, if I can remember. I'll put it in the precepts. Basically, I think a woman had killed him or something to that effect, but he didn't want to die as a coward, like as a woman had killed him. So he said, basically, he told his the, uh, his fellow soldier, you kill me so that way the people won't find out. Why? Because he wanted to die with integrity. All right, he wanted to dive manfully. All right, Sirach chapter 2. Um, I'm looking for, here it is. Sirach 2 and verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, prepare thyself, thy soul for temptation. So you are going to be tempted, man. All right, you're going to be thinking, oh, man, what's the easiest way to do this? No. No. What's the easiest way to bring out the truth? You know, what's what's the easiest way and the simplest way to edify the elect? What's the easiest way for me to stay here in the flesh and do this work? All right. Verse two, Sirach two and two, set thy heart aright, thy spirit aright, and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. And making haste would be uh, 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 trying to make an escape route into the spiritual world. You know, all right. The 144,000 will not be uh, 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 using that as a solution to get out of here. The scripture said, constantly endure, all right? Constantly, all right? Constantly means la'iwalam, which means forever, all right? Now, this is Deuteronomy, and I'm going to end here, and then I'll check the I'll check the comment board. Shalom to y'all, the elect, tuning in through the Spirit, all right? Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 19, it says, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death blessings and curses therefore choose life that both thou and thy seed may live that thou mayest love the Lord Yahweh thy power and that thou mayest obey his voice bring not destruction upon thyself in the area of thy life all right it's more need for you to stay in the flesh okay and that thou mayest cleave unto him, for he is thy life and the length of thy days. That thou mayest dwell in the land, all right, which is spiritual right now. In the land which Yahweh Bashim Shai swear unto the fathers, Abraham, Abraham, Isaac, Yatazachach, and to Jacob, Yaquab, to give them. Again, Deuteronomy 13 and 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. That I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Therefore, choose life. All right. Therefore, choose life. And I might do a quick precept on that. Bakusha, Bakusha, Lord, help me to choose life or something like that. So, the Wadi Yahaw Bashimi Awashai, the Wadi Yahaw Bashimi Awashai, the Wadi Yahaw Bashimi Awashai, Barakta Yahaw, Barakta Yahawashai, Shalom to the elect. Let me just check the comment board. Second Esther 13 and 24. Know this therefore, that they which be left behind are more blessed than they that be dead. Hey, that's right. If we are here right now, it's because the Most High is blessing us. All right, we are winning, okay? We're up 102 in the game. And the game is about to be over. I mean, you have some people uh, uh, that think, you know what, what if I fake an injury, you know, maybe this will be over quicker. No, we are left here, all right? We're blessed than the ones that have passed on. All right, because the ones that are passed on, they're in 100% righteousness and they're looking down on us. All right, and they're sad. You know, they're they're uh, uh, they're begging and pleading, you know, uh, how long? You know, how about Shmuel Shai? Are people going to be in this state? You know, it reminds me of that movie, uh, The Green Pastures, you know. Now, let me just see. I think I saw another one. Shalom, Akim, Shalom. Very few Akwakim that might be tuning in. All right, GMS, North Carolina, 777, Shalom, Zaquan. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not on thine own understanding. Right, because in your own understanding, you'll have you have yourself thinking that um, suicide is, is an escape route, all right? And it's not. It says, in all thy ways, acknowledge him, Salah. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Right, and that's why I said these precepts I had, these are the precepts that I, that I brought out. These are the ones that I, uh, uh, I that pop in my mind 
whenever this demonic suicidal thought tries to pop in my head. All right, Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 12, Philippians 1 and 21, Sirach 25 and 7, Sirach the second chapter, and ultimately Deuteronomy 13 and 19 to choose life. All right, so that's a very good precept. Uh, and that's right, this is uh, Ban uh, Banaya Loya. Jake have to fast to get that demon off you. Know the truth can be hard to handle when you first come in or just catching hell. I went on an extended, tr extended true fast and prayer. The scriptures are true. I, yeah, that's right. Yeah, the only way you're going to get that, that demon, that suicidal thought demon off of you is through fast and prayer. Starve your body. Job 40 and 7. Gird up thy loins now like a man. I will demand of thee and thou and declare thou unto me. Yeah, Most High Yahweh Bashmah Shai is going to uh, put us through certain things to see if we're going to try and take ourselves out, to see what how we're going to respond. The ultimate response is to rely on this comforter, man. And express how you're feeling to Akim. Don't be afraid to tell a brother, to tell a brother how you're feeling, all right? Hey, and guess what? Hey, that's the spirit. Look at this. You see? These are the things. <laughs> they transporting somebody, all right? That's military helicopters. When you see things like that, <laughs> you can't, um, because we're right here in the D.C. area, you can't uh, bring death upon your life coming down the pike. But yeah, last scripture here, GMS uh, Shemak, which I think Shemak means joy. All right. It says, uh, 2 Ezra 6 and 25, Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told these shall escape and see my salvation in the end of your in the end of your world. Hey, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful scripture to end on. Because, um, because we are remaining, all right? And Yahweh Bashim al Shai is going to provide a way for escape for us. And I truly believe that through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. So again, Barak Tha Yahweh, Barak Tha Yahweh Shai, the Wadi Yahweh Bashim al Shai for allowing me to do this, all right? The Wadi Yahweh Bashim al Shai. I pray and I know you were edified through the spirit. All right, I got to get in here to the Shaddai. Again, suicide is not the way. Shalom to elect. Shani Kabad. Gawala wa kub, shani kabala kum, gawala wa kub, zakoni nuwa, waha shalayaki nuwa. Double honors to our elders and apostles, all right, known as Great Millstone. And, and like I say, they put forth the great example because not, not one of them has done that, all right? And matter of fact, they teach contrary to that. And that's how I found these precepts because I learned this knowledge from my elders and apostles, all right? Uh, uh, the true elders and apostles of Yahweh Bashmi al Shad, known as Great Millstone in these times in the Hebrew, all right, that'd be gawala wa kub, all right? Shalom.